There are few places where you can walk miles and miles along the Atlantic Ocean without seeing hotels, condos, or even another person. This is the beauty of Cumberland Island. Like brush strokes on an artist's canvas, more than 17 miles of undisturbed beach outline the eastern edge of Cumberland. Magnificent seashore that stretches as far as your eyes can see may well be the island's most defining feature. in the sand shift with the wind. The sky is unmarked by tall buildings or metal towers. It opens to a palette that is mixed with every color the heavens have to offer. Perched along the dunes, there are weathered trees at once beautiful and haunting. Limbs reaching desperately for the ocean, like gnarled fingers frozen in a silent plea. Waves roll in as they have for centuries, yet alone at the edge, you feel as if you're the first person to witness this soothing ebb and flow. It hasn't always been this way. The hypnotic water belies a remarkable history of human occupation. Cumberland Island has been host to Indians, soldiers, slaves, and millionaires. But that's a story for later in the show. Today, the National Park Service protects the island and its heritage. Cumberland Island National Seashore encompasses more than 36,000 acres of land, making it one of the largest undeveloped islands on the eastern seaboard. To appreciate the solitude you find here, consider this island is bigger than Manhattan Yet, park visitation is limited to only 300 people a day. The only way to get here is by boat. You catch a ferry in the small town of St. Mary's, Georgia. People come ready to explore for a day, or some opt to spend more time at the developed or backcountry campgrounds. You can get lost here with a large wilderness area and 50 miles of hiking trails that weave through maritime forests and salt marshes, wetlands and beach dunes. If you do choose to wander, you are rewarded with unforgettable Cumberland moments. <laughs> 